my concern is actually that, that this budget will in fact unfortunately be the opposite of fiscal stimulus. Uh, it's going to be a, uh, I think it's unfortunately going to be one of those boring budgets where the minister will be struggling to, ba to balance the books. He will be looking to see where, where can he squeeze more blood out of the stone, where can he make us tighten our belts further, where can he cut expenditure. Now that's not what we really need in these times. In these times, what we, in my view, what we need is to improve our, uh, improve our growth. Now, we can only improve our growth if we, if we stimulate the economy. The economy is not going to, uh, the, the economy, in my view, is not going to um, be a self-starting economy. It's going to need uh, a bit of help. But in terms of, uh, in, in terms of just the backdrop to our economy, the growth rates that have been projected have been very modest. And even those modest growth rates have been cut uh, year on year, uh, quarter on quarter, and in fact we've, 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 we saw during the past year, we saw that we were uh, negative, we were negative for, um, for, for one quarter, and uh, I think we, we held our collective breath to, to make sure that, uh, or, or that we didn't fall um, behind in, in the, the next quarter because that would have put us into a, a technical um, recession. Uh, we're going to talk. We're going to, going to talk in, in a bit more detail about ESCOM, but I don't think that the uh, ESCOM issue has in any way helped the economy. I think it's. I think it's. It's. It's dragged it. Uh, it's dragged it uh, down. Uh, unemployment is uh, um, at or around record levels, and there is in fact talk that the unemployment figures may uh, may come out higher than than. And the current, uh, the, the February figures may come out higher than the, the figures that were that were quoted ar around October. How do we fix this? Uh, I don't think that there's one silver bullet. I think that we're going to have to we, we're going to have to move uh, with, with 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 some decisiveness in a number of areas. We saw the we saw the. Um, um, Growth plan put out by the minister and national treasury uh, last year. Uh, it contains a number. It contains a number of, of, of areas where uh, where the attention needs to be paid to the economy. Now the question is whether the, whether whether that plan is going to be implemented. Um, I haven't seen I haven't seen anything come through yet in terms of we're following we're following up. Uh, he has a revised version of the document, and uh, here is uh, here is our plan. I haven't seen that yet. Perhaps that uh, is something that that will be delivered in uh, in February. Uh, it would uh, it, it would be good if that uh, if that were in fact uh, to be the case. Three March two thousand and fifteen. Electricity woes will be distant memory. The energy challenges we experience are by no means a permanent situation. There are plans in place to ensure that over the long term, don't know what that means, the demand for electricity is matched by supply. Government is confident, and uh, I'm not reading the entire article, government is confident that the uh, frustrations and inconveniences experienced from a shortage in electricity supply will become a distant memory. The measures being implemented today will in future ensure uninterrupted and secure energy supply for the country. Now that is one month short of five years ago. Lynn Brown, Minister of Public Enterprises. On the government website I found that. So this isn't a new problem, Graham. It's a problem. Uh, it's again one of those honest agenda issues. It's a problem that uh, if, 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 a, uh, if an, ob an objective team, unhindered by politics, were to go in, it could be, have been fixed probably in that five-year period. And we would be reaping the benefits of, 
of, of the repair work uh, done to the, to the institution. Unfortunately, uh, there's a lot of political interference at ESCOM. It's, uh, it's nothing new. Um, there is uh, trade union interference, and that is, that, that is hampering uh, any, or, and will probably continue to hamper any work that, uh, you know, that uh, Mr. Dorator is, is, you know, is going to be uh, trying, to, uh, trying to do there. Uh, I hope I, I do hope I'm wrong there, and that he will be given a freer hand than uh, than, than, I, than I believe he he will get. Um, but if he does get that free hand, um, it, we will yes we will continue with this discomfort, which we've been told will go on for probably 18 months or or, or thereabouts. But thereafter, there may be there, there may be a silver lining.